What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, Dando Commentary. We got Mr. Gold once again um, down here at the bottom, 1626 versus Light X Dark Terry, 1370. Um, not sure how he got this on board without Pendulum Summoning. I think, well, huh. Yeah, I don't know how he got Maybe Brilliant Fusion, but I don't see any. Like, I didn't see any, what's it called? Like, a Brilliant Fusion back here. But anyways, um, he has Mass Chameleon. Uh, Mr. Gold obviously has his setup with stealth plus back row and got a couple of scout searches, probably got some draws. Whoa, Wavering Eyes would be the nuts here. Part Naga plus uh, Plush Fire, your scale is what? Okay, so you can summon fours and that's it. I tell people all the time that Pepe is, what's it called? Oh, oh, Ultra Combo. Holy Bon Jovi's automatic scoop phase. Wowzers. This is this is why I love recording the dual commentary sometimes. <laughs> because there's only five people in this room. And if I didn't record this match, only five people plus, I guess, the two who are dueling. Only seven people in the world would have ever got to see that. Wow. Yo, get, man. Yo, Light Terry, dude, you you got wrecked. I'm not going to call you a scrub, but you kind of got wrecked. <laughs> you kind of got wrecked. What does Asian I say? Psych. <laughs> Mr. Gold was like, oh, man, you have Wavering Eyes. I guess I lose. Psych. Wavering Eyes, you back clown. Like, damn. And the reason I didn't think he had a chance of having a Wavering Eyes was, if you look closely, he had a Wavering Eyes in his graveyard. So I was like, well, he can't have two Wavering Eyes. Psych. He can't have two Wavering Eyes. All right, so Mr. Gold is going second. Um, I might bring in some maxis in this matchup for not for Cleefort, but uh, for Pepe because especially if I'm if my opponent is playing like Mass Chameleon and shit, because like you, I know you want to special summon a lot. Because um, if you're playing Mass Chameleon, I assume you're playing Brilliant Fusion and Instant Fusion, like other like cards that basically spell cards that have the word fusion in their name that um, summon fusions, but really you're trying to XC which is weird. Like, we activate cards called Fusion and Instant Fusion and, Bril and Brilliant Fusion, but really all we want to do is XC. That's a weird dynamic, isn't it? <laughs> so, Scroll Combat Joker is, turn is, is uh, played turn one. Wait, so I guess this isn't straight Pepe. Um, okay, Wisdom Eye and another Wisdom Eye. I really want to see what, what Pepe or with uh, Magicians are going to do when full perform. Uh, what's it called full performer pals are released in, in breaker shadows i think people think that they're that magicians are just gonna disappear and i like i don't think that's gonna happen um especially with like the decks playing like apex avion and shit like i i don't think that's gonna happen i think if you open like apex avions and shit uh you can still just wreck it like a pepe player or performer pal friends player like seriously i mean maybe i could be wrong all right so gets himself a full scale Dragon Pit and Oath Dragon Magician. I like this guy a lot. I like this guy a lot. Oh, it has also dawned on me. This is a dude. So, yeah. It's a, it's a female looking dude. But, obviously, you can tell that's a dude. That looks like a dude. Um, even if he has, like, way too many of these little zipper type things. A little questionable there. This guy's just a manly man. It's got green hair and everything. I'm trying to think of a character in anime who has green hair. And that's a guy. Nope, can't think of one. <laughs> can't think of one. If you if I would have said pink or orange, I'd have been able to give you some. Blue? Yeah, the, the guy from Gintama has blue hair, right? Yeah. Um, all right, so looks like he's... No, he's not Pendulum Summoning yet. He's Special Gigabyte. Okay. And see, here's where you'd max see your opponent. Because if they don't exceed, then they've got a Gigabyte that's not going to do anything. Um, and also, they lose their Pendulum Summon. So, like... You're either going to give me two cards or you're just going to end with a field of... I'm going to kill the Gigabyte regardless. But you also leave this exposed. So, pretty sure you want to search and you want to get to your Pendulum plays. So, let's see what he's going to do here. Predictably, King of the Feral Amps comes out. And it would, it would have been so crazy had King of the Feral Amps been like an Ultra and instead it was released in. This card would have been like 20 bucks, like for real. Um, it would be just like, remember uh, Lightning Chidori for uh, Cosmo Blazer? How that card is always expensive, like no matter what. You, that card has never been cheap, ever. It'd be just like that. Because now that King of the Feral Imps has seen play, and I, I'd actually have one because um, when I played Evil Swarm, I picked up a King of the Feral Imps because um, 
I forget what the name is, but one of the evil swarms is a um one of the evil swarms is a reptile, and I played it just for that one reason because even when you didn't need it, you could search it, and then you could send it back to the um to the deck with uh, infestation infection, and then draw a card, so it'd be like a free draw, and then you could just do the same thing again next turn. So it was like you were just kind of speeding up your deck. Okay, we see a special summon of four pendulum summon. Nope, pendulum summon of three. Why didn't he go mass chameleon? That's weird. You, I would, I would like to think that he'd want to go Omega. Um, if you're playing Mass Chameleon, you probably should play one Omega. Maybe you might have to cut down on your Ignisters, but I mean, who need, who needs two Ignisters anyway? Like, if you make the first one count, you don't need two. All right. Um, going to probably see two more XC summons here. Okay, Trapeze Magician. I guess not. That's weird. You would think that he'd want something that could detach. Um. Yeah, you. I would think that he'd want something that could detach, so that he could make he could turn this uh, wisdom eye into another um, XC two. But I guess not. Like I thought he would go into. What else can detach that makes any advantage? For the life of me, I can't think of anything. All right, so summoners artist played. Get himself that scout turn one. Yeah, you'd be surprised how much this deck gets to a limited card in scout. Like I, you get this scout like fifty percent of the time. Like turn one, like four reels. Gonna play scout, pay that that eight hundred, and he can honestly he can crack this board like maybe not the back row, but he can crack this pretty easily. And when when I say crack this, I mean also kill the hat the uh, the trick clown. Looks like he's going for monolith, so full scale. And the thing is, you really don't have to worry. I mean, outside of that being a solemn notice or a solemn warning. All right, wavering eyes for four. Ouch. Dude, Wavering Eyes is just the whole format, man. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> Wavering Eyes, whole formats. Um, now, it's not all Loom and Gloom. Um, Mr. Gold could obviously still summon, like, a Stealth plus have um, Skill Drain. Obviously, he gets wrecked, though. Don't get me wrong. Wavering Eyes for four is legitimate. There's nothing to banish, though, so he doesn't he doesn't really get that. Um but he does get the wavering eyes, like he gets an he gets an ad, obviously. That's kind of cool. Okay. Gets his plush fire. An anti-wavering eyes target. A Rodney is also in that mix. Uh they might both get banned anyway, so. <laughs> One of them already got banned in Japan. A Rodney real talk might be next. Like I, I would not be shocked if a Rodney got banned. <clears throat> Cause I don't I mean, I guess it could go to one. Yeah, I think it could go to one safely. But it's I just think, I don't like the fact that that card can activate as many times as it wants. Okay, so he's still going to play two. And will he pin? Because, I, I mean, he's got his one and his nine. Okay, I mean, he can pin his scout, pin his monolith, still tribute for, like, a card safely. And maybe he has, like, a lose one turn or something like that. And he could easily just come back. Um, the main card he would need to get rid of right now is this. King of the Pharaoh Imps provides uh, advantage constantly, so just get rid of that. But, I mean, if he gets turn one wavering eyes and still comes back and wins, then he should be good. Uh, but keep in mind that um, Light and Dark Terry has another wavering eyes in his hand, so he has to play around that as well. That can be a problem, because I'm pretty sure Light and Dark Terry has another pendulum. Like, one card is plush fire, one card is wavering eyes, one card is unknown, and then he gets another unknown in the draw phase. So that's why I would like skill drain plus like shell would have been better than having a full scale because when you have a full scale you're kind of helping your opponent's wavering eyes play out but if you had like a skill drain you could just like summon pass and then like maybe skill drain just wins you the duel because 2800 is bigger than this 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 and it doesn't like these all become irrelevant under skill drain so he's gonna pendulum everything also he could have like if he had towers he would just win too. <laughs> Like, well, towers don't give a fuck about Waver and Eyes. Have fun not killing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess he could run Diamond Craft King, but, like, towers would be, like, legit here, too. Or what he could do is if he could have stealth and he could bounce this. That would help. He could bounce his scout to his hand. But this is all... Oh, no, never mind. Tribute summon. What's he going? Maybe he might bust out Sky Base. All right, so he is going for stealth here, okay. And 
I think he wants to just run over um, Terry's monsters. If I was him, I'd blow up one of my scales. Because I wouldn't want him searching another copy of what's it called. Like, I don't think your scales... Your scales are going to get blown up anyways. I wouldn't want him searching out another copy of uh, Wavering Eyes. Like a fourth, a third copy, so... Um, I'd blow up one of my own scales of my own volition. Because he can clearly bounce one. Blow up one of his scales. Um, attack... Like, he can clear his whole board out. Cl clearly, with just this setup. He can clear his entire board out. But, um... I wouldn't want... My monsters all getting wrecked. So or I wouldn't want my scales getting wrecked plus him getting another wavering eyes. So he's gonna bounce trapeze. Um and he is gonna blow up his own his own scale. That's that's a smart decision. Minimize the damage of wavering eyes. If you don't have like a wavering eyes in your hand. Okay. And Terry can't respond to this because stealth is a thing, so there's that. So Stealth should bounce Trapeze Magician as soon as um, Light and Dark Terry starts being alive again. Uh, I mean, he can pay a thousand and get his monster back, but I don't know if it's gonna do. It. Okay, chooses not to do any. Well, no, no, no. Wait, I guess you. Yeah, I don't think you can do anything. I don't even know if you can activate the um, the Trapeze's effect. Maybe you can. I think you can. But anyways, not activated. All right. So his field is bye bye. Um, a lot of this is going to depend on what that face down card is. Okay. It'd be crazy if it was like anti spell fragrance. <laughs> that shit would be, it would be hilarious. I don't think it is anti spell fragrance, but it would be hilarious if it was. Okay. Um, Wavering Eyes has been kind of the determining factor in this duel so far. I think if, um, if Wavering Eyes decided out, I give Klee a huge advantage in this matchup because of the floodgates. Uh, but Wavering Eyes is a card. Oh, only goes Wavering Eyes for two. Okay. Can't activate Lose one turn, but he could have Skill Drain and Vanities. Interesting. I thought that... I, I really, really thought... Um, I really thought Light Terry would have another Pendulum in his hand. And he totally didn't. So he has Luster Pendulum Draco Slayer. Gets a Damage Juggler. Maybe he might try and go for... Um, a synchro play? That would be a real waste of resources. Like, that boy needs to complete that scale. <clears throat> I mean, he, he got damage juggler, which is cool. But uh, I, I I just assumed he was going to be able to go three with the uh, with the wavering eyes. And he only went two. Surprising, though. But what is the play here? Oops, sorry, guys. Even if this play doesn't work, he can still fall back on damage juggler. Getting himself a... Um, like another, uh, well, another, maybe another trick line if he runs two. Activates Pendulum Call. Okay. Gets rid of Mass Chameleon. And now we know everything in his hands. He has, um, well, yeah, we'll, we'll know everything in his hand, essentially. I think he's going to get Dragon Pit and um, pro probably Dragon Pit and... Uh, pulse fire, and he's probably gonna throw the Draco Slayer at the back row. That's that makes the most sense. But he gave up his mass chameleon to do all of this. Obviously, you wouldn't take Insight Magician or Wisdom Eye because you can't use the effect to pop anything. So your scales can't be blown up. Maybe if this was, you know, it'd be another thing that this could be that would be cool. Um, I don't think it is. Oh, he is getting Wisdom Eye. Okay. Um, Okay, because okay, he's not taking Pit. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Not taking Pit Magician, okay. Uh, it'd be cool if this was Magical Spring. It would be cool if this was Magical Spring. Give him some draw cards right there. Alright, so he activates Pulse. I guess it's because he only has fours anyway. He doesn't. I guess he doesn't play any of the other cards. He does open himself up to like losing the Vanities, though. Like, instantly. I don't think he has Vanities, but I'm just saying. Okay. Um, <clears throat> might have Horn of Heaven. Could have some other cards here. Now, I think all performances are Spellcaster, right? I think this is Spellcaster. Yeah, they are. Plus, Fryer might be the cutest card ever to get banned. Oh, no, there's Rescue Cat. Yeah, Rescue Cat got banned. That shit's cute as hell, too. But, I mean, Plus, Fryer is such a cute card. <clears throat> okay. Pops the um, Stealth. 
and here comes the pendulum. Question is, what is the background? Pendulum summon, I'm pretty sure he's going to go at least four. I would have personally felt a little more comfortable. Um, pendulum summoning this many cards. Ooh, solemn warning. Like, I would have went at the I would have went Dragon Pit. That just would have made more sense to me. Uh, so he loses out on that. Uh, I don't know if he has any more fours either. I mean, I guess next turn he can make his Wisdom a Dragon Pit and then open up his XC plays a little more, but I don't know. Like, what if he top decks? What if your opponent top decks like a Wavering Eyes? Then you just get wrecked. So he's going to attack Damage Juggler. Like, you never know. I mean, I just like to play. I like to play the duels as safe as possible. Like, that's just my opinion. Now, obviously, he didn't top deck Wavering Eyes. Otherwise, he would set it and flip it over right now. <clears throat> Okay, so it's gonna use that that damage juggler banish. This is where Cleefort definitely lose when they get down in cards and you lose your scout super early and then you can't get it back because um, only climate change is like the only real way of getting your scout back to your hand. Well, that or stealth tribute, um, or if not stealth tribute, then um, if not stealth tribute, then I guess like carrier maybe. All right, we see Pendulum Summon straight from the hand. And probably time for Ignister. Okay, it looks like he is going to Synchro Summon. Synchro Shokan. It is, it's crazy. When Clash of Rebellion came out, all of these cards were like super cheap. This card was super cheap. Nobody even thought this card was good. I remember when I talked about it, I was like, oh, it's kind of like a Scrap Dragon. And I just never really figured. I guess I, I didn't figure this card would be so damn good. And I don't think anybody did because the card was only $5. Um, yeah, Luster Pendulum, when it first came out, was $5. It may, may be even cheaper than that. It was like a 4 or $5 card. All right. And we could see a scoop phase here. And we're going to game three, probably. Too many life points for Terry to kind of sack him or Terry to get sacked. Uh, not even by like a Regeki plus because, I mean, all, all your monsters are like 1,800 base. <clears throat> well, technically they're all they they become eighteen hundred, so it's not really eighteen. It's not really base. I think Cleveford are probably want to go are probably going to want to go first here, um, just because all of that stuff that um, Pendulum, Performa Pals, or Pepe Magicians can summon, uh, all of it can be thwarted by a Skill Drain or. Um, a robbery of warlords or a good solemn, a space time trap hole. There's a lot of cards that can just stop all that and be like, no, you're just not going to do all that junk today. All right, let's see with uh, what Mr. Gold is going to throw at uh, Light and Dark Terry. Oh, okay. Looks like he's not going for a pendulum scale at all. And that's another thing. Sometimes you don't even want to commit the pendulum scales because then. Like, your opponent's wavering eyes just aren't as good as they would be. Flips over Stygian Dirge. Flips it over, doesn't want to get dinko I guess. Stygian Dirge is really good because um, this deck is all about the number four. Well, even though he's running other magicians that obviously aren't four. But uh, it shuts down all of that four play, like, four play. <laughs> it shuts down all of the level four type plays. And when I say level four plays, I also mean going into a level eight synchro because they do it with two fours. You don't see this deck going like level one plus level seven or, you know, like two, six, five, three. You know what I mean? Like it's it's pretty much all it's pretty much just all four, four. So Stygian Dirge is actually pretty decent. You just have to play around Dragon Pit Magician. OK, scroll combat Joker's Plate. Activate the effect. Only way this could get better is if you had Skill Drain. Now, I expect him. Maybe the Pendulum Summon. If he doesn't have Dragon Pit, he can search it easily. Dragon Pit is obviously a problem for... um, Yeah, Dragon Pit is, is definitely a problem for Cleefort. You need to get rid of that card ASAP. I mean, and if, if what's it called came out... Uh, if Scout came back to two, like, Cleefort would be a lot better. Yeah, like, Scout to two... I don't know if Towers is ever going to get unbanned, but if Scout came to two... It's weird. We have a lot of cards banned in, that the OCG doesn't have. 
because Scout, I mean, not Scout, um, Towers and, not Towers and Sharid are both legal in the OCG, which is crazy. All right, activates Wisdom Eyes effect. Because I don't really know if there's a point of Pendulum Summoning if you can't get rid of the Stygian Dirge. <clears throat> and uh, Cleaford don't have a, they don't have a monster that you summon it and it makes advantage. Like, all the advantage is really tied to Scout. So, for Scout, the main card to get limited is obviously hurting the deck a lot. There goes Dragon Pit Magician. Could have MST. Could have Wavering Eyes. Could have a whole lot of other stuff. Okay, and what exactly are you going to do here? I would go after the back row. I wouldn't even care about the monster. Gets rid of Wavering Eyes. Okay, goodbye, Wavering Eyes. Well, I mean, not Wavering Eyes, Stygian Dirge. Gets rid of Dirge. Special Summons from his hand. And yeah, see, it's all, it's all about that rank four, man. It's all about that rank four. It'd be crazy if he got bailed out by a lose one turn here. <clears throat> Cause he could have easily just crashed into um he could have easily just crashed into the um the monster. Oh, and he did get bailed out by lose one turn. And instead of Mr. Gold losing his monster, yeah, he kinda got bailed out there. I thought it, I thought he should have attacked first. Cause now he has to pendulum summon in defense mode. Like I thought that was a misplay. I was just thinking, like, yeah, why not just go even with the, the disc instead of like Instead of potentially losing out to a lose one turn. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't sure he would actually have lose one turn. I'm just thinking of the outs. I'm like, if he flips over lose one turn, um, your monster kind of gets wrecked there. And anything, you, anything else you pendulum summon has to come out in defense too. And it doesn't make sense. I mean, I, I guess it kind of makes sense for you to keep trying to, what's it called? Bottomless trap hole. Ouch. That one hurt him. Now, well, I guess King of the does have 2,000 attack so that's kind of be well 2000 defense that's beefy he needs to get like stealth here uh not stealth but um sacrifice would help actually a lot sacrifice or scout obviously <laughs> scout always helps because <clears throat> if you can't get over king of the pharaoh imps you you're really not in that much better of a position than when you started okay so he looks like he put disc here um i think he used this just to yeah okay so he went for dish just to get the attack then some encephalopod. And it looks like he's trying to just get rid of um all right. Now, he does still have damage juggler, which can pretty much like guarantee that he'll get an out to lose one turn. So you really just see how much of a problem this card is. Because if he didn't like if he didn't have an out to lose one turn, he'd probably lose this duel. Uh just the eighteen hundred monsters. But um being able to search plush fire is an instant out. Activates Pendulum Call, okay. By discarding Hat Tricker. That was a pretty good top deck. And now he'll be able to get some monsters that he can summon. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure he had a damage juggler in his graveyard. I mean, if not, he, he has Pendulum Monsters now. But it does show you how important getting the Scout is. Because if he had Scout, um... Let's see. Well, if he had scouts plus the cephalopod, cephalopod, what scale are you? You're a nine. Um, I think scout is a. I think scout's a nine also. So he could have searched for a one. He would have had to crack this. Although technically, it looks like he had um, what's it called? I mean, he had pendulum cost, so he's gonna get another copy anyways. So it may have just been unavoidable. Unless he could have. Nah, yeah, it may have just been unavoidable. Cause I'm pretty sure he wants to get rid of uh, he wants to get rid of um, lose one turn immediately, cause otherwise your pendulum summons just aren't doing anything. All right, so lose one turn's gone, and he might just pendulum the oaf dragon. Did he not have damage struggle? Cause he hasn't searched from, from it, or maybe he thinks that it won't do anything at this point. All right, goes for oaf dragon. Okay. It's going to activate the effect to add. Gets a Wisdom Eye, which I guess he can normal summon or something, maybe. Maybe not. 
And, I mean, he can suicide here. Yeah, I guess just suicide into either monster. Suicide time. Okay. Cephalopod dies. So does Dragon Pit. Not Dragon Pit. Oaf Dragon. Man, I'm too tired. All right. Top deck of fate. Has to be a really good top deck. Probably not a top deck that he wanted. All right. So, yeah. I, I'm thinking Wavering Eyes or Bust, man. <laughs> Wavering Eyes would be such a good top deck here. Um, especially if your opponent used Dragon Pit Magician. Flips over Vanities. But he can just pitch and pop that. Okay, so he is going to flip that over so that his opponent has to blow it up. <clears throat> yeah, Waver and Oz would have been the nuts there. Because it would have gotten you, um, like, it would have gotten rid of all the scales. And then none of these monsters would have gotten specialed. He could have set the, I guess, yeah, he could have set the plush fire, I guess. But just like in general. All right, both monsters are going to die again. Again, he still gets a turn to try and get Wavering Eyes. It's the Luck Sack draw. <laughs> Give my man a Wavering Eyes. Seriously, do it, Dueling Network. Give him a copy of Wavering Eyes. I command it. That would be really awesome. It would act, it would actually potentially bring him back. Because then he could get Scout off of it. And then he would have a full scale. He, he could probably win. But that, again, it depends on, like, that's just completely dependent on you drawing. Like, Wavering Eyes and nothing else. Um, oh my god, what? Are you, are you kidding me? I just willed him to wavering eyes. Holy shit. This duel just went from resident sleeper to pog champ. O-M-G. Not to sound all like a teenage white girl. Holy shit. I just willed him to wavering eyes. I have mind control over dueling network. And he scoops. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. I gotta get this duel up. Thank you guys for watching as always.